We've seen several businesses close on Grand Avenue in St. Paul in recent years, and this morning a popular restaurant announced it is adding its name to the list. A tavern on Grand, which has been a staple for decades, is closing this spring. Fox 9's Rob Wilson live for us now. So Rob, you actually had a chance to talk with those owners today. What they have to say? Well, this is certainly a bittersweet development for them. You know, this place has been here for a long time. They famously provided the walleye for Mikhail Gorbachev when he visited St. Paul back in 1990. Now, the longtime owner died last year. Family members say there's a myriad of reasons that uh, they're going to close now. Some of them are vastly different what, uh, from what has closed other businesses on the avenue. But one thing is the same, and they say, despite what it looks like now, a, a downturn in foot traffic, and uh, that's a reason uh, for this closure. Lunchtime on a Thursday, and Tavern on Grand was packed. We've had so much love come out uh, on social media. I think our, our, our phones uh, have been blowing up. News of their closing after 35 years, serving about a metric ton of walleye a month, will now be a big draw, giving their customers six months' notice for a nice drawn-out send-off. You want to step away when things are good and have all those memories and uh, walk away with a smile on your face. But news of their closing just one week after Salute closed up, with Pottery Barn now clearing out. In recent years, at least five other big names gone from Grand. Seems like just one more blow to an iconic avenue. In Tavern's case, they say the end of a lease and the need for major renovations and a decline in foot traffic are just some of a myriad of factors. It starts to look like a big, long math equation. And after sitting down for months and kind of looking at everything, um, it just kind of made sense. I would say Grand Avenue is in transition. Down the street, Holly Weinkoff's Red Balloon Books has been here for 40 years. She's owned it for 12. Just had their best holiday season ever. She says Grand Avenue is not dying. In comparison to the recent retail that has closed, uh, those stores have been stores that people can go to in many places. As a board member of the Grand Avenue Business Association, she says they're looking at attracting more of the unique stores and restaurants that make this a destination. As for Tavern, their plans are to close up after one final grand old day in June. It, it just seems fitting, uh, you know, with how great the avenue's been to us, the area's been to us, to, to kind of sign off uh, with, with a grand old day just, just feels right. Now, this may not really fully be the end of Tavern. It'll be the end of Tavern on Grand, but they say they're looking at resurrecting the restaurant in some different form, in some different location, but far too early to, to say what that might be. Uh, is for Holly Weinkopf down at Red Balloon Books in the, in the state of Grand Avenue. She said the association is also looking at making it more pedestrian-friendly here, not only safety-wise, but beautifying the street, too, is a way to, again, continue to attract people to this iconic avenue. Live in St. Paul, Robles, Fox 9. All right, Rob.